Hi, this is Kristen from the Crystal Lake Public Library. And today on our preschool art, we are going to feature the work of Georges Seurat, who is known as the father of pointillism, which is an impressionistic form of painting using tiny dots blended together instead of blending your paint before you put it on the canvas. So I found some really good information about him at our library in some books, such as Getting to Know the World's Greatest Artist, featuring George Seurat, and Impressionism, 13 Artists Children Should Know. Both excellent books and resources if you want to learn more. Um, they both feature his most famous work, Sunday at the Park in La Grand Jete, and it is found in the Art Institute in Chicago. And it is so big, it takes up an entire wall. It's a really great painting featuring all sorts of people doing all sorts of interesting things on a leisurely afternoon. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to try to do our own form of pointillism using either markers or um, paint and some Q-tips. Um, for little hands that have a harder time gripping, the dot markers, they are much easier to use. I just don't have them at my house. We have a bunch at the library, which we will use when we're able to do preschool crafts in person again. But um, if you have those, you can order them online or you can get them, I think, even at Walmart and Target. Um, they have them and they are excellent um, for little hands, uh, like preschool age, to use. But as always, this program is for all ages in a family to try together. So I'm going to show you um, my interpretation of The Circus by George Seurat. It took me um, over two hours to get as far as I did using regular Crayola markers. But we're going to try to do a freehand painting um, using Q-tips and some watercolors and just a freehand drawing of a rainbow and um, filling it in. So let me show you the circus and then um, we will try to do a um, freehand painting using the style of pointillism a la Georges Seurat. So this is the original Georges Seurat painting called The Circus. Um, as you can see, the colors are rich and beautiful and you can see the horse and the woman and the ringmaster, all those beautiful colors. And then this is my version after a couple of hours of taking some Crayola markers and dotting them all trying to fill in this space as best I can. After spending time trying to fill in this picture with using markers, it really gave me an appreciation for what George Seurat made with the richness of his colors in his painting The Circus. He was using a new scientific discovery about what, how the eye blends colors together to create new colors and images. And that is what I attempted to do here. Try this at home. And it's good to know that there are different ways of coloring paintings or coloring pictures or painting paintings than just swiping color on a page or a canvas. You could use little dots such as this, like my daughter does, using common household things we have at home. Okay, I'm going to show you a way to make this craft. I've already done this layer, as you can see. Basically, I'm using printer paper. You can use watercolor paper to make this craft work. I'm also going to be using Q-tips and some watercolors. So I'm going to first dip into the water with the Q-tip. Then I'm going to dip into the color of my choice, which is the next color, which is orange. And I'm going to start dotting onto the paper, like so.
I'm going to load up the Q-tip with a bit more paint to make it a little bit more vibrant color. And the more dots you add, the more the color shows up. Okay, and this is the finished product of the rainbow using the Q-tip dot method. I hope you guys try this at home and I hope you have fun with your creations.